Okay, so I wrote this person GG after a little game of Blood Warden Endgame trolling. And she basically said, let's not talk about it. You know, thinking I'm a survivor. You know, emoji, GG. Everything was good. I hooked them with Blood Warden. If you don't know what that means, it means that the gates are closed and they can't leave. So now they're scrambling because they don't know the exits are blocked until they go to the exits. Look at him. Oh, what do I do? You do nothing. Now, it's a trolly little build, but I like to have fun in DVD. I don't like to sweat anymore. I used to go on win streaks and try to compete with all the top sweaty killers and all that. But the game is innately toxic, and I would always get reported for, you know, face camping, tunneling, and blah, blah, blah. Go back through my uh, TikTok if you want to see some of my old videos. So I tend to write people GG and let's be friends. But this person, and you'll see at the end of the game, gets extremely salty when they find out I'm the killer. Like if they thought I was the survivor, everything would be fine. Hey, let's not talk about it. GG's. And as, as you can see here, she can leave. She can exit. But she wants to come back and be a hero. And that's fine. Some people play like that. I don't, I'm a trash survivor. That's another story. But as you can see here, I land a hit with Ghost and then boom, another hit. She wasn't expecting that. That person can't be hit because they've just been unhooked. They have to leave the game. And now look at her. Wait, were you the killer? What were you mad for? What do you mean mad? I'm not mad. You're mad. And now you're on the ground. So give me my GG back and go pay Fortnite.